Hello, welcome to Studio Pixel. In this chapter or tutorial, we are going to learn about another nonlinear deformer that is twist. If you have already gone through all of our previous tutorials regarding the nonlinear deformers, this will be a very easy for you. Uh, because uh, for this uh, especially nonlinear deformers, the twist uh, it has a very very few and specific uses and also the the controls over it. So for creating that, I have already taken a a poly cube which. Uh, width and depth with 1.5 unit and the height of 8 and I also use some uh, subdivision for only height not, not in, nothing else because I'm going to use it for, for the for the height uh, twist so I have uh, used a subdivision height of 8 and it's absolutely up to you how smoothly you want that deformation occurs so so that that is uh, the object will be deformed according to your you know number of subdivision a number of subdivision will be required as to deforming and deform the mesh or object uh, smoothly so I just taken a subdivision height of 8 it can be anything around there okay so go to the option box of twist I got my twist option from create deformer nonlinear that's it so this is the nonlinear section go to the twist and for the default values I'm just uh, not going to uh, you know change any kind of uh, values over here just uh, for the sake of for just to use reset settings so that we don't have any kind of accidentally uh, we don't have any kind of uh, previous used values over here so hit create immediately you can see there is you no know, effect has been done as as we have already used uh, this kind of uh, nonlinear uh, deformers previously if you hit 4 you can see the the nonlinear sorry twist uh, handle has been created and you can also see the channel box twist one handle has been created and in the input node you can see there's a the options are out there which will let you control over the, over this uh, particular twist option <coughs> okay so just switch on the wireframe on shared mode so so that we can understand how the uh, things are actually twisting because it's very important one because we have two different uh, options other than the uh, basic options like envelope high bound and low bound uh, these are the three options envelope high and low bound will be you can see all over the nonlinear deformers and there are two new options or different options that is one is start start angle and the other one is end angle now if you hit start angle you can see that it's twisting from the base of your object uh, that is a very important one which one is your start angle that is absolutely very very dependent on on your creation of the object and the end angle is absolutely definitely on your top so if you are rotating the uh, rotating the handle over here if you rotate the handle something like this your start angle will be different and your end angle will be completely different so you have to remember this so first of all your start angle and also the end angle and you can animate those this is these these values are, are really animatable you can hit s and after that uh, just going to you know a different one and also so you can see that uh, that particular uh, value will be you know uh, absolutely animatable and I can bring back to the zero so you can see that so you can uh, create any kind of animation that is required requiring the, the twisting values which is a very very you know it, uh, it's not possible to manually create or, or kind of a, uh, using of bones or joints uh, or joint structures cannot be done uh, without without or, you know without these uh, very simple uh, way to deforming objects. So <clears throat> these are the two different options. One is start angle and angle. And I have already uh, told you that uh, for the envelope, it's absolutely the use of how much amount of you know uh, 
I'll just uh, break the connection first okay so how much amount of this uh, of this particular uh, nonlinear deformer is going to affect on your object so if I if I you know it just it just just make it one it's 0.5 oops as it as it animated it's, you can see this is, this is the amount of which you can uh, you can absolutely you know you know make it a different kind of a look or a completely different kind of structure you can create the default value is one <coughs> okay now what is the n bound and low bound uh, sorry high bound and low bound and low bound is absolutely where you not want to uh, you know use the uh, the values on your base you can see this is not fixed it also twisting and uh, it's not absolutely fixed I'm just uh, it might uh, okay fine I can see now you can if you start using you know see you can see that right now now if I animate this the, your base is not fixed your base is also moving so it's at it don't have any kind of a, a low bound it's I've degreed, degraded the low bound value over here and right now you can see as I'm just increase my low bound sorry decrease my low bound to zero only not not uh, uh, not to minus values or, or anything that low bound is actually causing the lower portion is not uh, not twisting no no twist effect at all and the same thing will is going to happen for the high bound also if i bring back to the high bound value to zero you can see that entire object is twisting but the top portion the over portion the high high round portion is not actually actually been twisted it's been straightened up so the, those are those are very important that uh, that while twisting my upper portion of the object will stay remain you know you know remain untouched but that will gonna twist but not exactly the formation of deforming it should be on a straight mode and I want I want my a lower portion of the object will be twisted so the twisting effect is actually been you know affected on the lower portion of the of the object not the higher portion of the upper portion of the object from the from the center of of, of the twist handle so this is this is a very unique one um, for for the twist uh, twist factor in in, in non-linear section so hope you understand this and uh, just uh, you can use uh, different kind of uh, you know, for, for, for creating different kind of uh, shape objects for even non animatable I've already told you from from the bend or flare that you can create you can use these kind of deformers for creating object models different kind of object model for architectural visualization or, or any kind of uh, any kind of a structure that you do want to improvise on on your own so uh, this this these uh nonlinear deformers are very very effective and very useful for that so i hope you enjoy this and please don't uh forget to subscribe to our youtube channel and also like us in facebook and also follow us on twitter thank you very much